left click add modifier and I'm going to left select subdivision surface I'm going to bump the views up to two and check optimal display I'm also going to check this box here and that allows us to see it unimpeded in the edit edit mode okay I'm just going to drag these forward a little bit more okay and that's not looking too bad now I'm just going to press 7 for top view I'm going to press Z, Z and left select wireframe okay so we're going to have some giants here I need to put in some loop cuts so I'm just going to press Control R and put in a loop cut here left click twice to lock that in position okay I'm going to put in another one here so Control R left click once left click to lock that in position again left click and left click to lock that in position there okay I'm just going to press one on the front view just to now I'm not going to line it up with the shape of the hand here I'm just going to roughly get it in position I'm just going to press a once or twice to select everything and just drag this up to about there just roughly center of the wrist and that'll do for the moment okay I'm just gonna press Z and left select wireframe okay I'm gonna put in another loop cut here so control R left click twice to lock that in position okay I'm just gonna press S to scale that up slightly like so and I'm gonna do the same thing here I'm just going to press and hold alt and select left select that entire edge press s and just scale this up slightly okay I'm going to press 7 again for top view I'm going to press and hold alt and left select this entire edge and press shift s and left select cursor to selected okay I'm happy with the shape of this now so I'm going to leave edit mode I'm just going to grab this here and just drag it across slightly I'm going to press tab and left select object mode I'm going to press T and bring up this property panel and under tools I'm going to left click in set origin and left select origin to 3D cursor so that just places the pivot point at the end here so I'm going to make a copy of this in object mode by pressing shift D and just drag it up here and I'm going to press R and just rotate slightly just going to drag this down and I'm going to press S and just maybe scale this finger down a little bit and I'm going to select this finger and press S to scale X for the X axis and just maybe drag it out a little bit okay I'm going to make another copy by pressing shift D and just drag it over here and left click I'm going to press R to rotate and make sure you're in top view and top orthographic if you're going to press rotate so 7 for top view and again 5 to toggle between perspective and orthographic just going to drag this over and up Just press R to rotate that a little bit better. I'm just going to press S and maybe scale this down. And when I'm happy, I just move them in a little bit closer together. What I can do is just press S maybe and scale this up a little bit. select this and press S and X and just drag it in the X up here okay now left select the center one press shift D and drag it over here and press R and rotate and press S and scale it down it's gonna be the small finger 
and just drag it into position maybe just scale it up slightly s to scale just going to grab this one and drag it in and now for the tom so i'm going to left select this one again press shift d and just drag this over here and left click to drop it i'm going to press r and rotate Okay, I'm going to press S and scale this down. Actually, I'm just going to right click and I'm going to press Control Z or Control Z and I'm just going to press S to scale X for the X axis and just scale that right down in the X. Now I'm going to press R to rotate and left click when I'm happy to lock that in and I might just press S and scale it up a little bit make it more thumb like press R just to rotate this okay and that's not looking too bad for the moment okay now what I want to do is join these up so with the first one selected I'm going to press and hold shift and left select the other four fingers press ctrl j to join okay now i'm going to press tab and left select edit mode i want to make some modifications to these so i'm just going to press ctrl tab and left select vertex i'm going to select this vertex in the center of this small finger and press and hold shift and select the center vertex on this finger and press alt m and i'm going to merge and by left select and at center okay and i'm going to do the same thing for the bottom press and hold shift and left select both of these press alt m and left select at center i'm going to left select this one here I'm going to left select the top one or the opposite one on this finger press alt m and merge at center okay i'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button just to rotate i'm going to do exactly the same thing here i'm going to left select this vertex press and hold shift and select this vertex alt m and merge at center okay left select this one press and hold shift left select this one press alt m and left select at center I'm going to left select this one press and hold shift left select the opposite press alt m and merge and left select at center okay it's going to press and hold the middle mouse button I'm going to do exactly the same thing here i'm going to left select this vertex i'm going to press and hold shift and left select this one press alt m for merge and left select at center okay i'm going to left select the next one down press and hold shift and left select this one press alt m for merge and select at center and again i'm going to do it for the top one here press and hold shift and select both of these press alt m for merge and left select at center okay and that's not looking too bad i might just leave it here for the moment there's a fair bit in that tutorial so i'm going to press Control s and save that and that's going to be it so thanks for watching i'll see you next time goodbye hello and welcome back to the next tutorial in this series i'm going to continue modeling the hand from where where we left off the last time so i'm just going to press t and remove this property panel here okay i'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button just to rotate around i'm going to switch mesh selection mode by pressing Control tab and left select edge i'm going to press and hold alt and left select this entire edge around here okay i'm going to press 7 for top view and i'm just going to grab this here and drag it out slightly I'm just going to roll the mouse wheel to zoom in okay what i'm going to do now is extrude this edge and just ensure just make sure that this edge here is not selected.
just deselect it if it is you only want this entire ring running around here so i'm going to press 7 again i'm going to press e to extrude and just drag this back slightly probably to about there and left click to lock that in position okay i'm just going to roll the mouse wheel to zoom in here i'm going to press s in front view over here and press z for z direction and just drag this out slightly and left click to lock that in position okay i might just press z and go into solid shading okay i'm going to come back here to go to top view and press e to extrude again and extrude out here and left click to lock that in i'm going to press s to scale and x for the x axis and just push these in so they straighten out slightly okay and again i'm going to come over here to front view just press one for front view and you can toggle between auto and perspective by pressing five i'm going to press s to scale and z for the z axis and just drag this up slightly left click to lock that in position okay what i want to do now is come back to top view i'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button just to zoom out i'm going to press control tab and left select vertex i'm just going to grab individual vertices here and drag these up so they're forming a more a better curvature to the hand okay i'm just going to grab these and drag down Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Now what I want to do is reduce the number of edges as we travel back here to the arm. So I'll just press tab, come into object mode. I'm going to left select the end of the arm, press tab and come into object, into edit mode. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've eight edges coming around on the end of this and that's exactly what we need to have by the time we get up to here with the hand so i'm just going to press tab and left select object mode i'm going to reselect the hand and press tab come back into edit mode as you can see we have an awful lot of edges here so we need to merge some of these points together okay so what i'm going to do is left select this vertex press and hold shift and select this vertex press alt m and merge at last i'm going to left click at last i'm going to do the exact same thing here left click this one again i'm going to left press and hold shift and left select this one press alt m and left select at last okay that's one less to be worrying about i'm going to do exactly the same thing here i'm going to left select this vertex press and hold shift and select this one press alt m and left select at last i'm going to do the same thing here left select this one press and hold shift and left select this one press alt m and merge at last okay now i'm going to come over this side here and do the same thing i'm going to left select this one press and hold shift and select this vertex press alt m and left select at last exactly the same thing here left select these two press and hold shift press alt m and merge at last okay now i can come down the bottom and do something similar left select press and hold shift press alt m and merge at last okay and that's those few now I need to do something similar. I might just extrude on first. So I'm going to press Control Tab and left select Edge Mode. I'm going to press and hold Alt and left select this edge here. I'm just going to press 7 for top view and I'm going to press E to extrude and just extrude this back. And left click when I'm happy to lock that in. I'm going to press E to extrude again and left click when i'm happy there i'm just going to press s and scale that in slightly i'm going to come over here to front view and press s to scale z for the z axis and just drag this up 